is Pestilent Spirit a good card to craft in the current meta? I'm going to find out. I built a deck around Pestilent Spirit, Cosmotronic Wave, some cheap little aggro, cheap little burn cards in the Rakdos color space. It's something I've been wanting to play with, um, and you'll hear me reference this throughout the video, something I wanted to play with since Ravnica Allegiance came out, since the, uh, the spoilers uh, came out a few months back, and I haven't had the time to play with it. And it's just something I've been curious about. I didn't think it would work very well. Looks good on paper. And even in practice, it did not work out very well. You'll see in a couple of quick games that I played where I'm just trying to sort of test the concepts of it. And uh, and it did not, uh, did not play out very good at all. Of course, decks like this uh, typically don't work out very well because if they remove your win condition, like Cosmotronic Wave, uh, if they counterspell that, or if they just remove with all the easy removal they have, uh, if they take out your Pestilent of Spirit, your host. So uh, it was sort of fun to see it go off a couple of times, but really it doesn't it doesn't matter um, because you don't have enough power to uh, sneak in and win the game. Um, but coming up in these couple of games, it's all about uh, like those Rakdos colors with uh, Pestilent Spirit, Cosmotronic Wave. So enjoy this content, guys. The deck tech is going to be four shocks to combo nicely with our Cosmotronic Wave and Pestilent Spirit combo. So if something, um, you know, doesn't die to just a Cosmotronic Wave by itself, we have some backup damage. We can remove little creatures or just kind of come in for that extra damage if necessary at the end of the game. So I kind of like having shock in there as a way to remove little creatures. Uh, Footlight Fiends, it's a creature... Um, what I'm thinking with Footlight Fiend, is that since we're playing Rakdos Colors, is that uh, it can die and do one damage and hopefully remove a pesky creature that... Because we're going to need to survive into this game a little bit if this combo is going to be successful. So I like the addition of Footlight Fiend, I think, at this point. Um, this is a way to have a blocker or a nice attacker that should sneak in for one. Uh, Lightning Strike, of course, the more direct damage, the better. And plus, we can go face or we can go to a creature target if we don't have... Pestilent Spirit out, so I like it. Uh, Fireblade Artist is super strong, I think, in Rakdos Colors, 2 casting 2-2 two, two with haste. And at the beginning of your upkeep, you can sacrifice a creature to deal 2 damage to a creature or, or, or to an opponent or Planeswalker. And if you sacrifice that Footlight Fiend, you get 3 damage out of it instead. So it's a really strong combo um, for Rakdos Colors, and I like it, though it does not combo at all with Pestilent Spirit. Um, Pestilent Spirit, as we know, is 3-2 uh, for 3 mana with Menace and Death Touch. And instant and sorcery spells you control have Death Touch, which is... Um, I thought this was going to be a very, very strong card, although there aren't too many instant or sorcery spells in the black space, particularly in mono black at all, that do one damage, or any damage at all. A lot of the black spells that do um, any kind of removal do it in the form of like a minus one, minus one, or whatever counter rather than damage. So that doesn't doesn't work with Special and Spirit. You must combo this uh, with, with red. That's the only option. Uh, Ruin Raider. I think this is just for some extra card draw. So at the beginning of your end step, if you attacked with a creature, reveal the top card and put it in your hand. So and then you lose life to the card's converted mana cost. I feel like having card draw in a deck like this would be stronger than than just a whole bunch of burn, so that's why there's a, a Ruin Raider, and there's also a, like Light Up the Stage for more card draw. So I feel like that's something to play with. Hmm, I'm, I may not be in love with this combo uh, as far as like Ruin Raider goes for card draw, but we'll see. I like Direct Current, three for two. Uh, deals two damage to any target, so I can use it to go face. It jump starts, so I can use it on a creature if I have to twice in a row to, if Pestilent Spirit's out. Now, the thing I don't like about decks like this um, I don't know if I said this earlier or not, but Pestilent Spirit is um, is fairly weak. And so so this whole deck hinges on Pestilent Spirit being alive. <laughs> um, so we will see what ends up happening. A lot of times if you get your kill card removed, then the game's over and you've lost. So we will see in, in the games that we end up playing uh, what actually happens with our Pestilent Spirit. So hopefully we can keep them alive long enough to do some damage to our opponents with Threat Current. Potentially Fight with Fire deals 5 damage to a creature, but if we kick it, it deals 10 damage. And I'm thinking that games might go on long enough to benefit from Fight with Fire. So hopefully that happens. I think this deck does not stand a chance against Control. We'll find out. Uh, light up the stage, I think, is also uh, 
mandatory in red now. If you're playing red, you want that card draw. And light up the stage only requires that your opponent lost life uh, to trigger spectacle. And then it's a one casting, two card draw. It is fabulous, and I like everything about it. Um, even in, uh, I, I haven't seen this used too often, even in like, is it, but I think for is it, this is a staple also. And then of course, Cosmotronic Wave. So for four mana, we do one damage to each creature, um, my opponent controls, and then their creatures can't block this turn. Although if we have, so if this just comes out on its own and we've got some other creatures down, which we don't have too many of, uh, but they'll, they're unblockable this turn. Or if we've got, you know, our, our Pestilent Spirit out, then, uh, then everybody dies and we're happy. And I'm running just 24 lands, pretty typical, 13 swamps, 6 mountains, and then 5 dual lands. I do have 3 blood crypts, which is nice, but I only have 1 dragon skull summit. So I would, if you have more of these, throw those in. And I chose to only run 1 guild gate because of the, uh, the tap land. I don't want that to slow me down. So if I get this on turn 1, cool. If I get it on turn 6, hey, that's cool too. I don't think I need the speed at that point. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with, uh, with having just 1 guild gate here for the deck tech. Let's play some games. Ooh, two mountains. No card draw, some removal. The odds of drawing into a swamp are pretty good, but I would want one before, before pretty good has to happen. Here we go. Mountain and a swamp. We'll hang on to this. We've got light up the stage, Dragon's Skull Summit. That's fine with me. So now we're just waiting for our Pestilent Spirit kill card to come out, and then we can actually do stuff. Uh, I don't, I'm not ready to shock just yet, but see, this is why I threw shock in there, because now I could shock down, like, the token. It's not a huge issue. Uh, it's just a 1-1 just a one -one with lifelink. But this is mono-white, it looks like, and if I can keep him from flipping Legion's Landing, I'll be a lot happier. This is uh, Vampires. I'm glad I saved my shock, so now I can shock... The really scary Legion Lieutenant, you go bye-bye. And so with a deck like this, our combo figures to be pretty good. Figures to be pretty good. Um, he's going to want to load up with creatures playing some sort of like a... The, the deck type is critical mass, where he wants to play a whole bunch of creatures. Even uh, He even wants to play like a Johnny's Pride Mates. And... Uh, and they will die to death touch sorcery spells. Instant of sorcery spells is pretty cool. Right on. I like that. So I'm on for a mountain and direct current next turn. And they never block Footlight Fiend. It's like a free one damage every turn. Which I, I realize I did that wrong now. I cast uh, <laughs> in the wrong order. I could have got away with casting uh, Light Up the Stage for one there. But, uh, you know, I didn't, didn't do it. So here's this mountain, and because direct current jump starts, I'm okay with casting it on the Skymarch Blood Letter. And we'll just run the same business, we'll attack, we'll exile some more cards, we'll have quite the big exile pile here. I'm okay with it being a land. So now he might, I wonder if he's kind of figured out what it is we're trying to do here. Where he's going, what is this guy? What? Are you really doing that? Yeah, yeah we really are. So it's a non-token creature. We'll do the mountain just to keep it alive. Otherwise we have to exile it. Cosmo wave and now we can't block so we can sneak in. We could... Um, that triggers spectacle also. Whenever... Yeah, okay, so three, three point life total trade there. That's no big deal. Okay, here we go. We've got six mana down, which isn't enough to do anything. It's going to enter tapped, and we'll play our Pestilent Spirit. And we will not attack. So I'm going to hold back my Footlight Fiend, and we've got a Cosmotronic Wave. So the combo is on the table. Does he have a Mortify for Pestilent Spirit? And this is the thing with uh, with decks like this that I was sort of worried about happening, is if they figure this out real quick, he'll play Pestilent Spirit. That's not good at all. Uh, yeah, he gets mortified. Uh, he's gonna be a prime removal target, and any removal really kind of ruins our day. Hmm. 
target the Midnight Reaper, ditch a Blood Crypt, play another Footlight Fiend. He draws a card, but he can take the damage and draw a card. So, so far I'm not too impressed. We'll give it a, another couple of games, but I think, I think it's going to be something where any removal, and there's so much removal right now, that it's impossible to plan around, but we have the mana for We have the mana for it, so on turn, hey, on turn seven, you can clear the board. <laughs> Silly. Again, a, a, a Mortify, an Epicure of Blood almost ruins the party here. Okay, well, Lightning Strike kills him, because we all have a, a Death Touch. It's not a win condition though, is it? We almost need a bigger a bigger creature, something to something to swing home with, you know. We're only two mana away from fight with fire, so we'll just attack with uh with the big guy. Not even the big guy, just for three. We'll leave fight with fire open and hopefully swing in for ten. I don't think he's running any any kind of damage. Okay, so there goes we'll have to fight with fire. The dude, which is unfortunate because this is a decent kill card. Okay, I didn't mess that up, right? It is nine. Yeah, and I only have eight mana, so. We're one mana away from having a ten point fight with fire, which would have. I could do one. One damage with fight with fire to any number of. Not to any number of creatures, but up to obviously ten creatures. But I say he's got four creatures, I could just do one each. With Pestilent Spirit out, that kills everybody. If he attacks with Bishop's Soldier, I could double block with my Footlight Fiends and then kill his Legion Lieutenant when they die. And then that would also kill Bishop's Soldier. But he doesn't do it. My dudes have this. He's going to kill his uh, Legion Lieutenant. Pestilent Spirit keeps attacking. So those shocks, Shock and Pestilent Spirit's pretty strong. That's game. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there's no life gain, no way to come back from the brink of death. I do like having board clears, that's kind of fun. But overall, combo decks like this tend to fall apart if your combo gets taken down. And I gotta think that against control, so Pestilent Spirit isn't gonna survive Moment of Craving. And Cosmotronic Wave isn't gonna do anything against a creatureless deck anyway, so against control we're hosed. If it's if it's control, we just lose. Uh, <laughs> it's just loss, loss, loss. Um, so that's not great, but it is kind of a fun a fun combo against creature heavy decks, particularly like Golgari. I think this deck would do really well against Golgari if you can get out the right the right combinations of creatures and and the right amount of damage in your hand. So right now I'm sitting on a couple of shocks. And if this is a deck that... Okay, so Mono Red. Oh, this will also be pretty good. Alright. So he may have the means... Uh, I'll, I'll take one. I'm going to take some damage from this Firebrand. I don't want to tip my hand too much to him. There we go. So we've got the Pestilent Spirit, who will no doubt die to direct damage if he's, if he's got it. But I may be able to sneak one or two spells in there. Um... If he's got to choose between, like, shocking the Pestilent Spirit or playing, uh, like, a, a runaway Steamkin, he may choose to play his creatures, because not a lot of people are doing this deck type just yet, where it's, like, this janky thing that i got going on. Alright, so now we've got some bait here. This is just a good bait card to have. Okay, I'm going to attack for two. Now he goes, hey, a 2-2, two -two, you can't have that. So if he's got a Steamkin and a Mountain, he plays the Mountain, he plays the Steamkin, and he shocks my Fireblade Artist to make his Steamkin a 2-2, which fundamentally is a Gatu Lava Runner. Doesn't have the Sorceries and Instants yet, doesn't have anything in there. Wizard's Lightning, totally reasonable. Mm -hmm. He wants to get rid of my 2-2, so that's a Wizard's Lightning that my Pestilent Spirit doesn't have to eat. Um, 
And again, but again, decks like this, combo decks like this that we're playing right now, rely way too heavily on your combo living. Um, and so, I'm going to pay retail for Light Up the Stage. Again, I want to delay the game a little bit, just so that I can get my Pestilent Spirit out there. Well, now, okay, the gig's up now. Now he knows. So now I've got to cast it next turn. If I draw into a land, I can cast it and like a shock and maybe that's really all I can do. But now he may be a little more worried about what it is I got going on. He may not be. Yeah, he looks like he's saving some. This is probably all direct damage up here and he's going to, my Pestilent Spears are going to eat it. Which this is all he would have to do in this game. Um, man, I really thought this would be a terrific card to have in uh, when I saw the spoilers for Ravnica Allegiance. I was like, man, Pestilent Spirit's going to be all over the place. Now, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to shock him right away. I'm going to do that in response to his removal, because no doubt he's going to he's gonna just straight go for removal here. So now, in response, we're going to shock. So that way, if this was a bigger creature, it would be dead. Um, now we're only taking one every turn. Although... Although this is not, uh, not a winning combination. No wonder you never see it get played, you know what I'm saying? Like, none of the, uh, yeah, so he's got a skewer, he's sitting on six damage here. This is not gonna go well. But I have the combo again, Pestilent Spirit, Cosmotronic Wave, so for seven mana, hey, I got six of the seven required to, uh, to win the game. <laughs> but but you can never end up casting it, or if you do, the game is it already at this state where we've got beat down so bad. So, yeah, after a quick assessment, I mean, it doesn't even take very long to figure out that. Well, it's not not a very strong combo because there's only one way to win, and that's to clear the board and swing home with some creatures. But either you put creatures in the deck to swing home with, or you have uh, if he's got a. Uh, Skewer the Critics, that's... Really? You didn't have Skewer the Critic? That could have been the game. And then we'll just shock the dude for three. A three-point shock. So, yeah. I, I would think... This is something I wanted to do when the spoilers came out. I was super excited about Pestilent Spirit. I didn't see it getting a lot of playtime. I figured I'd got some extra time. I happened to get three of them. I would not make them. Um... I wouldn't even make, um, like at this point, I think Cosmotronic Wave is also probably not all that necessary with all the other options for removal, that would, particularly like Dagger Caster. Um, Dagger Caster is better than Cosmotronic Wave now. Um, he'll do the one damage to everybody just like a Chain Whirler would. Um, so my assessment of this combination is that it's probably not worth your wild card. So save your wild cards, save your gold. Don't worry so much about Pestilent Spirit and Cosmotronic Wave, or Pestilent Spirit in general. It's not It's not very good. It's not going to win you any games. Um, and again, if you're playing like Rakdos and you have just big creatures to, to hit home with, just play with the big creatures. Pestilent Spirit is not going to help you out uh, win any of those games, as we have seen here. In just a couple of quick games, you can see that it's a, a combo that's just straight up not going to work. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one.